Here's how to build anything with AI agents, because I've got a harsh truth for you. You're wasting hundreds of hours on stuff AI could do for you. Emails, calendar, reports, documents, anything you can think of where it involves typing, you can automate with an AI agent. It's not sci-fi, it's not some overcomplicated tool only tech bros understand. It's something you can set up today, even if your tech skills are questionable. You don't need coding skills, a PhD, or even common sense. And if you click a button, you can build your own AI system. And I'll show you exactly how today with NA10. This isn't the future. It's right now. And you're missing out. Let's go. So first place you want to start is by signing up to NAN. You can actually get a free trial. And I'll show you exactly how this works in a minute. But yeah, you can get started for free. And then from here, you can start building out your AI agents. Now, this is basically a very simple way to build AI agents without coding not having to really do anything too technical and not only that but you can also connect it to over 400 different apps pretty much everything you can think of and additionally on top of that you can basically automate anything you can imagine now this is probably the easiest fastest and least technical way to build ai agents and it's not like your glorified custom gpt like some youtube show you this is like a real way to build ai agents that are going to automate all sorts of tasks and basically be like a full-time employee for you so, for example, once you've signed up to NAN, you will get a free trial, like you see right here. We actually get a thousand executions for the first month. And then once you're logged in, you set it up, you can see, for example, we've set up goldieagency.nan.cloud. You can then, for example, decide to go from scratch, test a ready to go AI agent example. Or here's what I really like. I think this is super powerful is you can actually take loads of templates. Because bear in mind, if you're building something for a common task, like, I don't know, something basic like emails, then there's going to be an AI agent template already built for that. You can then just leverage for free, right? So you can see here, we've got 1,200 workflow automation templates that we can just grab and steal for free. And, you know, for example, if you type in agent inside here, you'll see all these different AI agents that you can get. For example, like AI agent for Instagram or AI agent for project management. You can even link this to Superbase, which is pretty wild because then you can have a database linked with information for your AI agent to work with. So for example, we've got the AI agent calendar assistant right here and you can actually preview it before you even use the workflow so you can see how it works what you can expect etc and you can see it says this template is a simple ai agent that acts as a calendar assistant it's designed for beginners to have the first ai agent performing common tasks to help them understand how it works so for example if we click on use workflow here we can then choose whether we want to import the template to our cloud workspace or copy the template. So I'm going to import it right here. And now we can start plugging in our credentials to set up an AI agent using this model. So if we click on create a new OpenAI chat assistant, we can grab our API key. It's already plugged in the base URLs to the endpoint. Then I'm going to copy it here and plug in the details. Hit save once you've done that. And you can see it actually tests it. So when you're setting up your AI agent API, it's an API to be able to complete tasks. You can get free ones from, for example, like AI Google Studio as well, or Cadestro. But for now, we're going to use the OpenAI account, keep things simple. Now we're going to set up Google Calendar tool. So all we need to do is just sign in with Google. Pretty simple. And now you can see the account is connected for Google Calendar. One thing I want to say here, right? For example, you get an error that you cannot connect the account. Then what worked for me was changing my settings like you can see right here. That just made things easy so that I could continue setting this up. Might work for you too. So... We've set up OpenAI, we've set up the Google Calendar tool. Now we're gonna hit continue. And here you can see it's explained exactly how it works. So basically the chat trigger is when a message is received and you can embed this chat interface wherever you want, that's gonna send a trigger to the Calendar AI agent. And this is basically how it's gonna work step by step. You can see the flow diagram here. So when the chat message received, that goes to the Calendar agent, then this can link to multiple different outputs right here. So for example, it can create events, it can get events, etc. So for example, if we say, can you add a calendar event? It's going to say, of course, of course, I'd be happy to help you create a calendar event. Could you please provide me with the following details, right? So for example, if I say today, building AI agents for one hour, and it's like, great, I'll help you create that event. Event title, start date, end time, event description. And the beautiful thing about this is you can connect it in many different ways, right? You can connect it to Google Sheets. You can connect multiple different apps, but then have a real source of intelligence that automates different things in between. Now, this specific is a little bit like, for example, ChatGPT Tasks that was just released this week, except it's much more intelligent. It links directly to your Google Calendar and you could build all sorts of automations off the back of this. Plus, it's so easy to set up, right? How long did that take? Literally a few minutes to copy and paste and customize the template. And you don't need to be a genius to figure this out. I would go as far as saying almost anyone can figure this out. 
and then you can just confirm whether it's done or not. And you can see how it's connected to Google Calendar there. So I'm just going to close this. You can also save your progress and you can share your workflows. So you can add new users to your workspace. And then, for example, if you've got a team or if you've got some assistants or admin, etc., you can share the outputs with them. Now, let's test the number one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a Telegram AI bot assistant ready made for like voice messages, text messages, etc. Right? So what we can do is click on user workflow. Then once you've done that, it's going to ask you to set up your Telegram account. So you just log into your Telegram account, set up your bot using the bot father. Obviously, I'm not going to show my screen because it's got my access token directly in there. And then from here, we can X off and we can get this party started. So we've got Telegram and we've got OpenAI, right? Then we can click continue. And then from here as well, you just want to make sure you hit save. Don't forget that. So make sure you saved it. Then from there, we can say, for example, give me some ideas on how to do SEO. And you can see it's typing and now it's given us a whole response, right? So we're basically chatting directly with the AI, but inside Telegram using the bot. Now, if we, for example, click on action in an app, we can connect all these different apps, right? Now that's the whole point of this is like, well, it's nice to have like a little Telegram chatbot that you can connect to AI and that's super useful. And you could do that almost wherever you want. But also what you can do here is you can connect it to different apps. And that's where the real magic of AI agents comes in because now you can connect it and have it interacting with all your different apps and connecting with them, right? So for example, let's say you want to connect it to Google Sheets. So we'll click on Google Sheets. We can then click on append row and sheet. Then we can click on, for example, like create a spreadsheet, put in your details here of who you are. Now that's connected. Now we'll hit save and you can see Google Sheets is connected right there to the AI agent. And also if you don't like something that you've done, if you need to roll it back, you can click on workflows over here and just roll back the latest changes that you made, right? So we can flick back to previous version before we create the Google Sheet automation and we're back in the game. So if we click on restore this version, you can also clone it too. Now we're back in the game and we've got the automation without Google Sheets. You could also, for example, edit a sheet within a document. So for example, you could create a row in an existing sheet then we can grab from the list. Then inside our document list here, we can connect this to Google Sheets and edit different things. So for example, I've selected a sheet, which you can see inside this workflow. So this has a sheet of keywords so we could connect to the AI agent. Then we get it saved again. And then if you're editing like the page, let's say I, for example, want to take a keyword and plug it into my sheet, I can take all the previous outputs from the replies of the agent and then plug them into my sheet. So if we have a look here, it's like, okay, well, so for example, we can listen to incoming events from the user on the Telegram bot, or we can actually take the outputs of the Telegram bot here. So for example, you can just drag that in over here. There you've got the text from the, and that's the response from the Telegram. And you can see here, this is just a totally random example. But for example, if we test it out, so we've got Telegram here, I said, how can I do SEO? And it's taken the output from the Telegram bot and plugged it into our Google Sheet like you can see right here. So for example, give me one keyword for AI SEO. Just a keyword, nothing else. It's given us AI optimization. If we go back to our sheet, we can see that it's plugged in the keyword right there. It's just scratching the surface. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know inside the comments description so that I can help you. It is absolutely amazing what you can do with these automations. I mean, for example, literally we'll set that up in a few minutes. You can see how you can take these template workflows, add to them, build them out, connect them to pretty much any single app. And as complicated as this does kind of look when you actually look at the template, it's actually very simple once you test this out a few times. Also, the other thing is this feels like you have a lot more freedom and control versus something like made.com or certainly better than Zapier. And the other thing as well, I would say here is anytime where you have a task where you've got a virtual assistant to do it, or it's fairly basic, like for example, data entry, or even like coming up with ideas for keywords or content or YouTube, etc. You can automate it all with these AI agents, right? And I'll show you a hundred different use cases in a second of how you can use this. So what I've actually done is we'll come up with a hundred use cases for AI agents for business automation, AI chatbots, file management, etc. Even marketing, you can use these for. And additionally, I've come up with 50 different use cases for AI SEO agents. All this is available inside the free SEO course. Link in the comments description. Let's test this out now. So I'm going to show you an example right here. So we've got a Telegram bot. And instead of Google Sheets, we're going to delete that. So for example, if you created a Gmail, you can link the replies to whatever you want, right? So you can take the outputs from your AI agent and then plug them to whatever app you're thinking about. So for example, if you wanted to send an email based on the Telegram bot, then what you can do here is you can see right here, you can select your Gmail account. You can choose whether to label draft, thread or message, right? So you could just create a draft if you don't want the AI agent to just 
start sending off random emails. So that's the operation like add, label, delete, get, etc. You can choose who you want the email to go out to, and then you can select your message, which you can take as the output, right? So you just drag in the text from the output, plug it in there. Now, what you could also do is you could just put that in draft. So you can click on draft here, create draft, subject, AI, assistant, email type. You can select as HTML or text, and then that'll draft an email based on the output you got from the bot. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So we're going to exit from there. Save this. Now we're going to go inside our bot and we'll say something like, write an email to John telling him how great his latest client report was. Now you can see the bot has created that. So we've got the subject, the quick email, etc. If you go to our drafts inside my email address, it has drafted this up for us. So this is literally the content directly from the AI assistant. You've got the subject line. It's nice. It's clean. It feels conversational. It's in draft. So it doesn't need to be sent straight away. You can just go and send it whenever you're ready and then just add the recipient as well. And it's pretty amazing that you could just see that with a quick telegram bot and a quick workflow inside NAN. Now, what you could also do is you could add automations in between when the response goes to the AI agent and the information that it gets access to. Right. So for example, if you wanted it to pull up your latest emails, get a summary, etc., you could also do that. Now, what you can also do inside the chat, just one last thing here is that you can actually chat with voice command. So if I click on the voice here, I'm like, okay, what's the best way to do SEO step-by-step? -step? Just give me some easy step-by-step -step ways to do this. It's analyzed the response from the voice over here. And there you can see we've got the responses, right? So you can actually analyze the sound from you inside this AI agent and you've built it to interact with your apps, create drafts, etc. So for example, if we go to our drafts again now, here's the email we just created right here. And that was incredibly simple and easy to do. And the only limit of all of this is your own imagination. Now, if we actually go to our AI agent, the big block over here, what we can actually do is edit the custom instructions that the AI agent has. So if you want to customize this to you, who you are, etc., then you can easily do that inside the system message. So where it says you are a helpful AI assistant, you could change that to, for example, you are the one and only Julian Goldie, the man, the myth, the legend. All right. And then if we X off that, we've plugged in our custom instructions. You can see that it will be super easy to, for example, customize this to you, your brand, your business, who you are, give it lots of context. The more context you have, the better responses you're going to get for all the real life use cases you actually use this for. So now if we go back, we're going to hit save like so. We'll go back to Telegram. I'm going to say, who even are you? And you can see it says now I'm Julian Goldie. All right. So you can easily plug in lots of information inside this workflow and then it's super easy to get access to. Now, if you want to play around with this exact workflow, I'll give you access in a minute. So what I've actually done here is create a document with, for example, all the use cases that we've talked about today, including over 100 use cases in general for AI agents, along with 50 use cases for SEO agents, right? So if you want to get free access to this document, plus the whole blueprint from today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that into my free SEO course link in the comments description. This comes with over 200 different ways to grow your business, the AI SEO tools and a community of 3,300 SEOs who want to grow their business and scale using AI. If you want to get access to the notes from today, what I'm actually going to do is plug that into my AI agent section over here. Additionally, if you want the blueprint from today, I've uploaded the JSON file directly into this module here. So you can just copy, paste, steal it from me and just import that JSON file directly into NA. And if you want the step-by-step -step SAP, I'll include that in the video notes too. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month, and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book in this free link building acceleration session. Link in the comments in the description will give you a free SEO domination plan so you'll discover a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more leads, sales, and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building or answer any questions that you have one-to-one -one with our world-class SEO experts. This would normally cost thousands of dollars. You get it for free because I want to help you. You also learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching.